Violent crime out of Garner. Two people injured in a stabbing that happened Friday morning, including a one-year-old. Police are still looking for the person they say is responsible. Here he is, 49-year-old Roderick Walden. According to authorities, he was last seen driving a green 2010 GMC Acadia. It happened this morning around 2.30 at an apartment on Shady Lawn Court that's not too far from Garner Magnet School. CBS 17's Jamise Price spent the entire morning on scene talking to neighbors who even heard the cries for help. Jamise. Bill, those neighbors tell me those screams were so loud it woke them out of bed. That's when they discovered a bloody baby and a woman who was injured. She was in total shock. All of this was happening. Screaming our name for help. A neighbor in distress inside this Gardner apartment complex on Shady Lawn Court. She was like bleeding all over and there's just a lot of blood. Chloe Pointer and her boyfriend, who didn't want to be identified, recall the tense moments where they found a woman and her one year old goddaughter covered in blood from stab wounds. The baby was sitting there screaming, so I, I picked up a little girl and I took her upstairs and mm. put her in a blanket and went down and sat with the mom and, until the ambulance got here. Gardner police, who spent hours investigating the stabbing, say this was a domestic dispute and the victims should recover from their physical wounds, but emotionally, Chloe says this could be a long road. It makes me so sad that she has to go through all that. No child deserves that. Also concerned about the child, these mothers. They take their babies on a stroll around the apartment complex every morning. Being a mother, to hear that a one-year-old has been involved, it breaks my it's heart. traumatic for the child as well. Yeah, so you know that child is, you know, very traumatized. If you have any information about this case or know the whereabouts of 49-year-old Roderick Walden, give Gardner Police a call. Live in Gardner, Jamise Price, CBS 17 News.